Tete isso. Felt this week while I was praying about some things in my life, and it was on Tuesday, and in a moment I was praying. I said, God, I've asked you and I've begged you. I just don't understand why you aren't showing up in this situation. Like I feel you need to show up. Do you not love me enough to heal? And immediately the voice of the enemy came to me and said, see, you're a fake. You're a fraud. You're going to get up and what? You're going to lead a prayer meeting on Sunday night, but you don't even believe it. And then I sat that afternoon in a Rachel's Army meeting, and a friend of mine who got up and announced Rachel's Army said, Christina said, I got attacked spiritually so much yesterday from the enemy telling me you're a fake and you're a fraud. And in that moment, I said, oh, no, this is a demon. It's a demon that's telling us that we don't have the ability, that we don't have the authority, that I can't be an intercessor, that I, I don't have the true words that I need to say. And I just want to pray over that tonight, that if, you, if you're 30 years and younger in this room, raise your hand. If you want to have a spirit of intercession dumped out onto you, we say this is Rachel's army. There's generals in an army. There's sergeants. There's officers in an army. And so tonight we're going to have some of, like he said, the pillars, two women in this church who one of them was the pastor's daughter before I was the pastor's daughter. Her father was the pastor of this church before my dad took it. And the prayers that she's prayed her entire life are what set us up to be in this room tonight. Another woman who has stood by our family, who is a pillar in this church, a prayer warrior in this church, is going to come up and share. And I want us to be encouraged that you might have doubts, you might have things that you're questioning. God's big enough for our questions. He's big enough for our doubts. He's not mad at you. And in fact, he's ready and well able to prove to you just how much he loves you. Just how much he sees you. Just how much he catches every single tear that falls from your face. And so tonight, we're just going to pray. And then I'm going to have those two women come up with me and speak over you. And so let's just pray for a few seconds. Because I just really want to rebuke the spirit of inferiority tonight. I have the full authority of Jesus Christ who bled and died on the cross to take hold of my family, to take hold of my marriage, to take hold of my siblings, to take hold of my nieces and my nephews, to take hold of any and every lost soul in my family. I take full authority, devil, over every situation, every marriage in this room. That I don't feel like I can speak into it. I can't speak into it. Not by what I've done, but by what you've done on the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over every woman represented here. I rebuke in the name of Jesus the spirit of inferiority, the spirit that tells us that we're not enough, the spirit that tells us that we can't do it. I break it in the name of Jesus for the pulling down of stronghold that we intend to pull down with this company of women. I break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, God, I ask that you come in and you show us who we are. Not in ourselves, but in you. Your image. That we have the full authority that you've given us on the cross. In the name of Jesus. To lead our children. To pray over our children. Just like we talked about with Deborah, God. We come out with our swords and we have a spirit of none of this makes sense. This battle looks absolutely impossible, but you told me to go. So my answer to you is certainly I will go. I will go into the impossible situation. Certainly I will go because all of heaven comes behind me. And I make no mistake in knowing that we're about to drive the stake through the head of the enemy just like they Right now, in the name of Jesus, we put the spirit that 
come of infertility. In the name of Jesus, I put the demon of infertility on a wall tonight. We cut off its head. You say, the doctor may say it's impossible. You may have cried tears, but I am going to prophesy tonight. The tears you have cried will make room for a baby that you will hold in your arms. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing to the womb. Come up. 